Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel. Chesh, yakshimash, and howdy y'all. So today I have something a little bit different. I, as you know, I have my Amazon wish list connected to my videos. So in the video description, if somebody wishes to purchase a gift for the channel, then they can do so and I'll give it a mention in the video. So I've got numbers of items there and one of them I've got a couple of um, washing machines and other stuff as well if uh, somebody is generous, in, generous enough but uh, I've also got small items on there as well that are just a few pounds so it's really appreciative it really helps the channel and I'm very very grateful for everything that I receive. Now, as you know, I've received a George and a Shark and lots of different things, air fresheners, filters, everything, you name it. I've received a lot of items, so I'm so grateful. So I happened to be looking on my Amazon wish list and I noticed that something had disappeared off the list. And I wasn't sure whether it was because it was out of stock or it stopped being sold or unavailable or anything like that. But it didn't say that. Sometimes it'll have... Um, item unavailable, but it didn't have that, it just disappeared. So I was like, oh, okay. So here it is, it arrived today. This is a Costway Mini Twin Tub Washing Machine. So I already have, you know, as you know, I have my main washing machine, which is my Hot Point of Qualtus. Um, and I also have a Hot Point uh, Supermatic Deluxe Twin Tub. So I'd seen a couple of reviews of these types of more modern uh, twin tub washing machines with spinners and I thought oh, it would be interesting to try one of them. I know that um, Alex Raw, uh, he's done a, a video on one as well, a couple of videos I think, and some other, another, some other uh, YouTubers as well. So I was chuffed to be honest when this arrived today because I was like fantastic I'll give it a good demo. So the brand this one is is called a Costway. It's roughly about 90 quid. Um, it doesn't have a pump on it at all. It's called gravity fed. So when you want to empty it, you have to lower the pipe down at the side to let the water run out of it. It doesn't have a pump to pump the water out or anything like that. This is mainly for sort of like big caravans, um, RVs, and for traveling around, posh camping, glamping, you could use this for as well, very glamping, taking a washing machine with you. But, um, so here it is. So, without further ado, let's get this unboxed. Now, I've left my scissors in the bathroom, so I'm gonna get my scissors and we'll unbox this. I've got my scissors, let's start cutting into it. There are a number of reviews uh, on YouTube were regarding this machine. Um, the majority of them, though, are American uh, for this specific brand. So this is a British version of this, obviously, or Welsh. It's very light. The box is very, very light. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's open this door. And then I can chuck the box into there then. Let's have a look. Now, uh, on the delivery note, there was no name um, of who it had come from. So I have absolutely no idea. I don't. I doubt very much there'll be anything on the inside because this is sealed. So this is another one of those items that I have absolutely no idea who got it for me. So please let me know and I'll give you a mention. Um, okay, so that's the top of the box. Let's take the polystyrene off. It's very nice. And this wrapping and I think I'm just gonna pull it out of the box and there it is wow 
That is tiny. <laughs> that is really, really tiny. So it's got a power cord here at the back. Wow. That is dirty. There's a cold storage thing here. There's lots of different plugs on it, so it comes from many different countries. You can see the pipe here underneath, rubber wheels. Looks like the motor. There's the hook for the outlet pipe. Let's wrap the... Let me wrap the wire around it a second. Right, how on earth does it do this? There we go, that'll do. So, as you can see, it's very light to pick up. I'm just going to take the protective wrapping. pull out very well. It's down here as well. It's got this cellophane. I'll have to pay more attention to remove the cellophane from it. And from there. Okay. And on the inside we have the manual, we have the mat for the spin dryer, and we have the dirty little filler tube. Okay, and as you can see inside there, so it's a twin tub washing machine, model EP 23375XPB36 dash blah 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 blah. 230 volts, 3.6 kilos for the washing capacity, 2 kilos for the spinner, 240 watts, 120 watts for the spinner, total power 360 watts. Um, FDS Corporation Limited, blah blah blah. Ipswich, United Kingdom, and a telephone number made in PRC, so it's made in China. Right, okay. Is that protective cover? No. So I do like the colour of it. It's in this white and silver. That clips down. Uh, never put your hands into the spin tub whilst it's working. When abnormal sound movements occur during the operation, stop the washing. When washing, the water temperature should be below 60 degrees, otherwise the plastic components may be deformed. So you won't be able to do a boil wash in this, otherwise the thing will just melt. So that's the water inlet. Water inlet here for the spinner, water inlet here for the washing. That is so dirty. Right, okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have a look and a read of the instructions before I go any further, and then we will position it and give it a go. Okay, so I have got the washing machine set up here in the bath. I have the hose there that you can see connected up to the end of the shower head, because I've taken it off. I dismantled the head and then pushed the thing through to the rubber stopper. I've kept it wound up like that and it is then going into the inlet for the washing machine. So if I lift this up and you can see inside, if I were to switch it on, it starts and then spins in one direction spins in the other direction so I don't want this to turn that off. Here we have the switch select for soft, standard and then that is drain and then on this side we have the spinner there. If I close that and turn it on it's 
very quiet on spin, I have to say. And then there's a brake that stops it. And this is the the um, mat to go on top of it. Now, I was reading on the instructions on this because I was watching people's videos on it and I was kind of confused on how they were using it. And unlike a regular twin tub, they were the instructions say to wash your clothes in here, put them in there after they've washed, empty out the water, refill it with fresh water, put the clothes back into here and then rinse it in here with no detergent, then put them back into the spinner to spin out to dry. Now, that's not how I normally use a twin tub, so I'm going to see if I can do it the way I would use a conventional twin tub. So that's got a nice spring to it. I'll take this bit of plastic off it. So, if I can just get this shield door from stopping to open. There we go. What I'm going to do now is fill this up with water from the shower. So, let's do that. Okay, so it's filling up. It's hot water, because I'm going to do a white wash. So I've got here, uh, I, I keep it in a tub of varnish, but it's um, tied. So I'm going to put some Tide in. Fill it up. There's no marker or anything on the inside of it, so fill it up to that level there with that little. I think I might have had a bit too much powder, but we'll soon find out. Leave it at that level to start. Turn off the water. Uh, let me get okay, the so I got the clothes here, so I'm gonna switch this on. I'm gonna leave it on standard. I'm gonna switch it on to 15. And what I'm gonna do is pop in some clothes. Just gonna see what we've got. before I put any more. I'm just going to put a little touch of um, varnish into it. So I'm going to add the clothes to it. So I think it's enough. It's very powerful, it's really swishing all the clothes around. Okay, I'm going 
turn the water off. Mm, it sounds like it's struggling a bit. Got a too much in there. Eh? This is the first time I'm using it, so. Pushing everything around, I think it should be alright. Does sound a little bit groany. But it seems okay now. Right, so I'm going to close the lid and I'm gonna set it to 15 minutes and put you on fast forward. Okay, so it's finished its first 15 minutes, but because I'm a bit of a fussy bugger, I'm going to put it back on again. Uh, I'm not going to subject you to watching this, even in fast forward. So the load is finished. Now, where this differs from other machines is, according to the instructions I've got the outlet pipe laying down flat so I transfer the stuff into here I mean, it's done a good job. It's got a good agita agitation on it. Um, seems to work really well. Now, let's put the mat in. And dry my hand. Close this and then close this. Spin. And the water drinks out automatically from the spin. Now what I want to do is rinse it. Very quiet spin. So I'm putting water through it. Because what it wants you to do is basically empty this out, put all the stuff in there. And then to rinse it and then put it back in to spin it out. But I want to try and do it like a traditional twin tub. So I'm letting the water run through it as it's spinning. Turn the water off. 
that's working, but what I want to do is a traditional spinner. If I lift the drain up, to there, let's turn on the, let's see if I can do like a traditional machine and fill it up. This way. I think I should be able to. The tub I can see is filling up with water. Just twisting it round so that the water gets through the clothes evenly. Oh, definitely, there's plenty of water in the tub. Turn it off. Make sure the spinner is off. And then I'm going to drop the drain and spin it. The water's flowing out to the pipe at the back. Not doing much of a fast spin at the moment because of all the water in there. And that's flinging water through the clothes as it's spinning. It's very quiet. I'll do that again. Put it on a two minute spin. We'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, it's just finished its spin. So I'm gonna hook the hose back up. I'm gonna turn the water on full. I'm gonna drop a little bit of fabric softener. into it. Now I had to take the shorts out because it was too much. It really did, can't have too much stuff in it. So I'm going to have to do them separate once that's 
on. So I'm going to spin this round with my hand to make sure the water and the fabric softener gets distributed evenly. Quite good actually. I'm really, I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. I mean, not to do my house loads of uh, washing in it, but for <coughs> using it in a caravan or camping, I think it's really good. You definitely get your laundry done. You definitely get your laundry clean. And um, we'll see once it finishes its spin in a minute. as the water comes out. Okay, I'm going to leave this to spin now for five minutes. So I just want to show you, whilst it's spinning, it's using 121 watts. And if I put the washer on as well... So that's with both of them on. doing its spin. Okay, its spin is finished. Let's... The stuff's damp, but it's not soaking wet. Oh, it smells really nice. I would say it's possibly a little bit wetter than what comes out of my hot point, but it's not too bad at all. Right, let's try the last of the stuff, which is some work shirts, work t-shirts I should say. Spinners come off. Oh, that's great. Uh, why has the spinner come off? Where's the little screw? Oh. Right, so the screw that holds on this has come off I don't think it's broken I think it's literally just come off 
Right, I'll leave that for a minute. That's not very good, is it? Okay, let's spin this out. I've lifted up the pipe at the side. Just going to let some of the water go through it. on again. back on. This time with a little bit of fabric softener. Lift the hose back up so the water doesn't drain out. Let it fill up. Now this side I need to put this back on because I need to do the shorts. So I'm going to put the thing back on. I can find, I can feel that. Put the screw. Back through the center. I can't find the screw hole. I'm going to leave it there for a second. I can't do it. Because I wanted to do my shorts. Not doing anything. Turn this off. Drop the pipe and put it on spin.
Whilst that's spinning, I'm going to put this on to drain. To drain the water from here. I haven't done the shorts yet. I had to take them out. Oh, I told you I had to take them out. So the water's draining out of the washing machine. Inside here, it's really hard to try and prop you up. Down. There, this fits on here, and then the screw. itself out. So I'm just going to get a screwdriver and tighten that up. Okay, I got myself a screwdriver. So maybe that's something you should look at before you use it. Just make sure that screw's tight. There we are, that's in now. Uh, right, I'm going to rinse the inside of this tub. A good break on it, stopped. Okay, so that's the rest of the stuff. Hmm. Again, not too wet. If we were using it in a camper van, I don't think these would take too long to dry. No, what I am gonna do is these shorts that I want to able to wash because I put too much in. Spin these out and wash them with the the other whites downstairs. The towels. Well, so they haven't been in for more than ten seconds, and they they're pretty dry. They just haven't been washed properly. So I'll wash them with the white towels when I put the towels in the in the main washing machine. Right, we're done for now. This was just literally the unboxing and first demo. Now I've got the hang of it. I a little bit more used to it. We will try it again tomorrow and I'll do a coloured load on it but definitely from using this I'm not going to be using large items of clothing because 
it just doesn't spin round. These washing machines, I don't particularly like these washing machines without the paddle because I just find they knot the clothes up. It's not too bad, but I don't like it. But we will give it a proper go tomorrow and I'll just be doing small items in it. So we will try it again. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. This was just a quick video and a very quick first demo and get to know of this Costway twin tub mini uh, washing machine and spinner. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't be please don't be too harsh because like I said this is the first time I've ever used one of these. So when I do the video tomorrow, at least I know what I'm doing um a bit more <laughs> and um should be a bit better. So I'm going to leave this all open to dry. I'm going to give it a wipe over with a towel. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you all very soon. Bye y'all.